Welcome to lab 4 on aberrations. For this lab, we'll be using a pinhole light source, a large lens located near the center of the bench, and an image screen to locate the image. One thing you'll notice is that it's difficult to find a clear image in this setup. We can improve that by placing a pinhole in front of the lens to limit only the paraxial light through the system. In that case, you see a more clear image. We'll also change to using a different plate that allows only the peripheral rays or outer rays to pass through the system. In that case, you'll observe chromatic aberration quite distinctly as the different colors focus at different places. We can induce astigmatism by tilting the lens. In that case, you'll observe line images focused at two different distances, one horizontal line image and then a vertical line image. There's the vertical. The larger tilt, this is more pronounced, and the horizontal and vertical images are even farther apart on the bench. For the diagram in this section, you want to illustrate several lines that represent the different angles you had rotated the lens to, and then mark the distance to scale for the original image that was on axis, as well as both off axis images. So you'll have marks on all three lines for horizontal images and vertical images. And you'll notice if you connect those, you end up with this pair of curves like this.